Just like you can use one equation to solve for a single variable, you can use two equations to solve for two variables, three for three variables, and so on. These are called systems of equations. Simply put, systems of equations are groups of equations used to solve for more than one variable. The solution for a system of equations is a pair of values that makes both equations true. So if a value works in one equation and not the other, it's not a solution to the system. One way we can solve systems is our old friend backsolving. This is best for simple systems where you're given easy numbers. Remember, the key here is that if you plug in an x value to both equations, you should get the same y value. Let's take a look. What is the value of x if the following equations are true? 2x minus y equals negative 8, and 3x plus 2y equals 2. a is negative 4, b is negative 2, c is 4, d is 10, and e is 12. As usual, we'll underline our facts, circle our keywords, and label our answer choices. OK, so our answer choices stand for x. Let's try c, or x equals 4, first. So if x equals 4, then 2 times 4 minus y equals negative 8. When you distribute the 2, you get 8 minus y equals negative 8, which means negative y equals negative 16 when you subtract 8 from both sides, so y equals 16. If we plug 4 into the second equation, then 3 times 4 plus 2y equals 2 is 12 plus 2y equals 2 when you distribute the 3. Subtract 12 from both sides, and 2y equals negative 10, and y equals negative 5. Since negative 5 isn't equal to 16, we can cross out c. OK, so it isn't clear which way we should go. We'll just have to choose a direction. If the y values get closer together, that means we're going in the right direction. If they get further apart, we'll know we're going in the wrong direction. So let's go up and try choice D. So if x equals 10, our first equation is 2 times 10 minus y equals negative 8, which is 20 minus y equals negative 8. By subtracting 20 from both sides, we find that negative y equals negative 28, so y equals 28. And our second equation is 3 times 10 plus 2y equals 2, or 30 plus 2y equals 2. That gives us 2y equals negative 28, so y equals negative 14. Since 28 and negative 14 are further apart than negative 5 and 16, we can say that we've gone in the wrong direction, so we can cross out d. Let's go up to b. If we plug in x equals negative 2, the first equation is 2 times negative 2 minus y equals negative 8. Or multiplying it out, negative 4 minus y equals negative 8. Adding 4 to both sides, we find y equals 4. The second equation is 3 times negative 2 plus 2y equals 2, which is negative 6 plus 2y equals 2. Add 6 to both sides and you get 2y equals 8 and y equals 4. When we plugged in x equals negative 2, we got the same answer for y in both equations, so we know that b is the correct answer. Phew, that was a rough one. You deserve a tasty little visual treat for that one. Back solving did the trick this time. But we can always solve a system of equations the old-fashioned way by stacking and eliminating a variable, which we'll do in the next example. If the following system of equations has a solution, what is the x-coordinate of the solution? x plus 6y equals 24, and 3x plus 6y equals 52. f is 0, g is 6, h is 14, j is 19, and k says the system has no solution. Our first step is to line up our two equations. Make sure the x's, y's, and equal signs all line up. Now we're looking for x, so we want to find a way to get rid of our y if we add or subtract our two equations. If we subtract our equations, we get 2x equals 28. And if we divide both sides by 2 to isolate x, we find that x is equal to 14, which is answer choice h. If you see an easy way to stack and solve a system like we just did in the example, then go for it. But if you don't, remember your old bestie back solving. It may take a little longer, but it'll help you avoid mistakes if you aren't filling up to navigating an overwhelming system of equations.